G'day folks. Oh, it's a nice little uh, project. I got this Nagata generator off uh, Jay the Aussie. I traded in the old uh, Chinese dirt bike for it. And uh, I figured I'd get something a little more useful. Also Chinese, but still uh, quite a useful little device if it works. Um, can't really find any info on it. I found Nagata with two eyes. N double I G T A T A, and they're a major diesel manufacturer. They make massive V12, V16 uh, marine diesel engines, generators, that sort of stuff. But this one here just doesn't come up anywhere. Even the model number is the same as the Japanese one, NGT5, but it doesn't come up as a Chinese unit, even though it pre pretty much clearly is. So it's almost a counterfeit as far as I'm concerned. It seems a bit cheaply built, but we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, there's little fit and finish issues and nuts and bolts, that rattling loose. Like that's come loose and uh, worn away part of the base there. It was just rattled away and it was in, ended up wedged under the bottom there. That was where I found it. So, yeah, it's had a few issues. It doesn't have many running hours tons of compression. There were no bushings left in the starter motor which is kind of unusual. Right, Jay made some out of copper apparently and now it's working but only just. So I'm going to take the starter motor apart and rebuild that before you really go anywhere with it. But apparently yeah there was no armature bushings in the starter motor at all. Kind of interesting. <laughs> so yeah. I think this thing's rated about 6 kilowatts or so, 6 to 8 kilowatts. It's an air-cooled diesel of course, not a uh, water-cooled one. And the uh, big box on top is just the air cooling for the alternator and the engine itself. It all goes out the back to a rather elaborate exhaust system, twin mufflers and everything. Super quiet. Should work quite well if I uh, have my way with it and make it nice, make sure that everything's tight and reliable. Yeah, I guess I better clean it up, do a bit of uh, tweaking and pull the starter motor off. I'll also probably do an oil change on it. Yeah, crappy oil in it. Not sure what grade oil this thing would run, but I'll find out before I run any, any decent amount of time. Okay, I'll give a bit of a clean up and uh, inspection. And I found a uh, nasty problem. The exhaust gasket's blown out and one of the nuts is completely missing. So it would have been noisy as hell when it was running. It's just been blowing exhaust out through there, out the side of the uh, manifold. So. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is and try and start it just with the exhaust open. It'll be loud as hell anyway, but not much worse than what it was. So, yeah, I think the starter motor was the main issue. But I'll see what kind of job Jay's done on it by cranking it, see what it does. If it tries to start, then all good. If it doesn't, well, yeah, it might be an injection issue, who knows. It's a dirty, cheap Chinese unit. <laughs> Can't expect too much. But either way, uh, yeah. Bit of fun to play around with though. I do like messing around with diesel engines. It's got decompression on it if it decides to go run away. <laughs> Which I doubt. I mean, they're not too bad. I've never had a diesel go run away. And I've reinstated the muffler a bit and that's all in place. Back panel's in place again. I'm just tidying it up ready for a uh, test start. I'm better off trying to fire it up and see what it does before troubleshooting any further. Okay, well the starter tries to work as usual, but it seems to have spat the bushings out. I'd say there were bushings in there to start with, but it spat them clean out because the shaft flop, flops around in the uh, end housing, and likewise, it, Jay made bushings out of bits of copper pipe, and you can see one still in there. The other one fell out when I pulled the starter out. But it's not quite good enough because it just floats around and chews out the uh, drive pinion. 
So I'm going to have to uh, strip this entire thing down and make and replace all of the bushings. Looks like there was a cap over this end as well, but there's a split brass bushing there too. But it appears to be cracked, so I'll probably end up replacing that as well. And again, everything on this engine is fairly clean and shiny. It's not well used or corroded. I don't think this thing's done much work. Uh, so 2003, 11, 3. So 3rd of the 11th, 2003. Hmm, it's not that old, but it's been in storage for a while and was thrown out in the hard rubbish. So, not a bad hard rubbish find, that's for sure. Same with all the plasma TVs that he got me. That was good fun and interesting to autopsy and repair.